So we're going to just sit here and act like this is okay. Excuse me. We're just going to act like this is okay. <sighs> we are so quick to jump down Nintendo about that Joy-Con drift, but nobody talks about the PlayStation 4 controller. <clears throat> Excuse me. And its magical ability to fuck up its Bluetooth connection. No one talks about that, but they love damning Nintendo when it's the Joy-Con drift. Now, I'm not saying that's a better situation. I'm just showing you how indifferent your opinion is to mine. My controller won't connect, let alone reboot properly. My PS4 that I've had since it came out. Um, the Batman one, yeah, that limited edition. I went to go, you know, delete the hard drive and reset it. And now it's stuck in a loop and won't even connect the controller anymore. All right. But ain't nobody talking about that. That's the, oh man, fuck no. Nah, don't worry about that. But that Joy-Con drift? Oh boy, y'all riding the shit out of Nintendo on that damn Joy-Con drift. I ain't lying. Y'all want to talk so much shit about that Joy-Con drift, my boy. How about we talk about the fact that PlayStation View is now gone? Not because it was a sorry service or anything, but Sony uh you got to be more competitively aggressive. You have got to be more fucking aggressive in your pricing. This is the number one, number one flaw to Sony. And I've talked to plenty of Sony fans. I know plenty of guys and girls who will live and die the Sony lifestyle. But they themselves have told me... Of course, we're talking about the Vita normally because you say anything about the PS4, that's a slide against God. But at the end of the day, they normally agree with the fact that PlayStation is just a little too pricey. They would love to invest in Sony and go the full nine the way I'm the full nine with Xbox or with Nintendo. Where I'll subscribe to their service, I'll get little extra bullshit to go with the system or I'll buy more games than I should. I love investing in these consoles, man. Why in the fuck am I only going to buy the console and use it for the one thing when it's got so many different features? That's like buying a Nintendo Switch and just leaving it in the fucking dock. Why would you do that? You see what I'm saying? So, Sony, I need you to understand when I'm talking about you, I'm not talking about you from a negative standpoint. Everybody out there, y'all need to chill the fuck out. Y'all be wilding out when I talk about Sony. I don't talk about Sony because I hate them. I talk about Sony because, honestly, we should expect more from them. Um, and I know that's going to trip a lot of you out. Well, what do you mean? I don't understand. PlayStation's the number one selling console this generation. That still doesn't matter. Okay, they're talking about it just past the PS1 numbers. Congratulations. But, let's not look past the, f the fact here. PS4 is Sony's second best console, and it's the number two best selling console, which is a home console. Now, if we put all consoles together, whether they're core or handheld, Sony, that's falling into number three, M maybe at best. You're falling into number three because number one is the PS2, number two is the Nintendo DS. The Nintendo DS only sold like a million less than the, uh, than the fucking PlayStation 2. Yes, the Nintendo DS, not including 3DS, DS library alone has sold 154 point some million. While PlayStation sold 155 point some million. You feel what I'm saying? So they're right there. They're really close together. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to add in the 3DS numbers to that because then, yeah, PlayStation no longer has the number one selling console, gaming console of all time. They'll have the number one household console of all time. This is why you see wording uh, the way it is. You get what I'm saying? Like, they word stuff a certain way because they know if they word it another way, then they're not really telling the truth. Yes, yeah, Sony has the number one and two slot for best selling home console. As far as gaming overall, Sony only has the number one spot. The number two slot is reserved for Nintendo with the DS, which speaks volumes. The PS4 is fuck leaps and bounds. We're talking Superman flying from Earth to Krypton without any help. Uh, 
levels of leaps and bounds if you want to go that route. You feel what I'm saying? Um, the number four console is, of course, Nintendo Wii, the original Wii. That game, that fun, I feel like the Nintendo Wii is so underappreciated for what it is, for what it made possible today. Sony, you owe the Nintendo Wii a huge uh, debt of gratitude because if it wasn't for the Nintendo Wii and then your introduction into the VR headset, where would those fucking useless uh, PlayStation Move controllers be? Because before VR came out, I remember going to Walmart and seeing them marked down for damn near 10 bucks. Now they're 100 So, you owe Nintendo a bit of gratitude there because your PlayStation Move controllers during the beginning half of this generation meant shit to nobody and nobody was using them let alone even looking for them okay and if it wasn't for Nintendo uh, Wii being so successful you really wouldn't have probably even made the move controllers if we're just being honest you understand what I'm saying because Sony if you're a real Sony hand head and you did your research then you know that before Sony got into the Nintendo Wii with the controllers, the people who had the idea actually went to Sony first, and Sony passed. This is the same reason, Sony, you don't have any Bayonetta 2, you won't have Bayonetta 3, you don't get uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 because you're not willing to invest on things that are chances. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, Sony, why didn't you invest, like, reinvest into say crash bandicoot why didn't you why didn't you reinvest into crash bandicoot and then go out of your way to be like hey not only are we investing in this uh trilogy to come back but we're also investing into a solid crash bandicoot number four as well that would have made a bunch of people fucking super happy so excited to see you feel what i'm saying so um you know like i said when i talk about sony it's because there's so many missteps and that's millions of dollars they're missing. It's not no small change when I talk about this. This is big time money they're missing. You get what I'm saying? The fact that, yes, they lost Spyro. They lost Crash. The three that matter the most. There is no fourth coming from Sony. Their franchises are great starters, but there's no potential future. Why is Knack got a sequel on the PS4, but there's no sequel to Bloodborne? Why is Noah 2 coming out at the end? end of the ps4 lifetime why is it where the fuck is the order of 1886 we were promised the order of 1886 sequel which is the order of 1887 by ready at dawn no wait who the fuck made that game ready at dawn i want to say ready at dawn made that i'm probably wrong but we were promised a sequel to that game and we have not yet got it you feel me we need information as to why Final Fantasy VII hasn't been talked about, but it's an exclusive. Why is it, you know, why is it people are not necessarily a little afraid for uh, Death Stranding? Death Stranding has had a very heavy promotion. Not only is it a Sony exclusive, it's also Kojima's first game solo. And this could either go really well or go really bad. It's not guaranteed that it's going to go really good. It's also not guaranteed to go really bad. But anything could happen. This is his first game with no uh, Konami behind it. You feel what I'm saying? People are not asking these questions. I'm like, why are these questions not being asked? I feel like these questions should be asked. I feel like these things should be paid attention to. Sony, you as an overall company should be doing way 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 better why is PlayStation not uh, why is PlayStation not taking the Google route you could have put this in motion years ago the Vita has remote play your cell phone should have remote play you should be supporting apps like near me and building your community you should be showing everybody that hey this is the place to play. This is the place because we're not only the number one selling console, we have the number one selling content. We promote uh, online play and a positive place to come and experience with online play. We have great service. Like, you're just so far from the fucking point. That's what irritates me. You're so far from it. And it's not that your software or your hardware is a piece of shit. 
It's not. The PS4 is competent. It's a good system. But Sony would make you believe that you need to have a blood sacrifice just to experience everything. And remember, they just closed down the PlayStation View. There will be no more PlayStation View, a service that if it would have been competitively priced and would have been shown to have a discount to go with PlayStation, they would have probably been able to have a lot more subscribers. PlayStation Plus, a lot of people only download the free games and then there are some people out there who will only buy games when they're on sale. You dig what I'm saying? So, I'm not saying that's everybody, but that is a big part of it. I mean, a friend of mine asked me today, he says, so, uh, would you buy a PS4 right now if you didn't have one? I told him, no, I wouldn't buy it because it's not the budget-friendly uh, place to play. It's nowhere near a budget-friendly place to play. It's still more budget-friendly to play on an Xbox if you want to be real. Because if you go buy an Xbox for 250 chances are bundled in is a code for Xbox Gold uh, for one month and Game Pass. So out the box, you get 104 games for a month. That's a better deal. I don't recall PlayStation having a deal like that. I know they lowered the price of PlayStation now. But I don't see them combining PlayStation Now and PlayStation Plus memberships together for convenience of the consumer. Something Xbox is doing, making it convenient. I know it's the full price of both per month, but it's more convenient to have them together than separate because then you don't have to run a card twice. You don't have to fucking uh, get double charged. You dig what I'm saying? There's less risk there. And more chance that people will subscribe if they have to pay one fucking cost. Where with PlayStation, it's not combined. The price is not guaranteed because they might jack the price up. They might lower the price. There's no telling where the price is going. <clears throat> and I really feel like there's absolutely zero reason, especially this generation, there's absolutely zero reason that the PS4 has not outsold the fucking PS2. There is absolutely no fucking reason. The only reason is because we can't invest in PlayStation the way we want to. Ever since 2013, yes, you were the number one selling console for all the way up to about 2016. Then you fell off. I'm sorry, you did. PlayStation, you fell off. 2016 was not your year. You purposely allowed Xbox to come out with a more competent piece of hardware than your PlayStation 4, even your PlayStation 4 Pro, with a feature that you invented. I'm not making this up. Does the PS4 Pro support 4K Blu-rays? No. So what's more competent? The Xbox One S? The Xbox One X? Or the PS4 Pro? Just think about that. Which one's more competent? Which one is making the effort? Xbox, obviously, because they have the 4K Blu-ray player, they support 4K streaming, and I've said this plenty of times, what if games start getting printed on 4K Blu-ray disc? Xbox is ready to go. PlayStation, not so much. Feel me? I'm not saying anything to say I hate PlayStation. I don't. I expect more from PlayStation because Sony owns them. I expect more. I expect reasonable. I'm not asking for much. A 4K Blu-ray player would have made me buy a PlayStation 4 Pro. Absolutely. I didn't buy my Xbox One uh, Slim because it had a 4K Blu-ray player. That was just a bonus. I bought my, four, uh, my Xbox One uh, S because the decal design, that's still the most... Uh, impressive Xbox One I've ever seen. It's even more impressive than the PS4. I'm sorry, it really is. All the details to it, everything, it's just it's so beautiful. Um, and while there's good Xbox, or not good uh, Xbox, but good PlayStation 4 decals and everything, they still just don't have the attention to detail and the engravements that are on the Xbox One S. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not making any of this up. I'm really not, okay? These are all things you can legitimately look at. 
this generation has been like PlayStation trying to rebirth themselves, like trying to get to where, like they've had a lot of great first party games that are brand new IPs, but a lot of them haven't had sequels, let alone even had a breath or hint of a sequel. Why is NAC 2 the only one to have a sequel? Why, why is NAC 2 the only sequel out of a bunch of games that just got released this fucking uh, generation? Um, are we going to get a sequel to the Spider-Man? Is that going to be something on the PS5? Where's the Order of 1887? I know people hate the Order of 1886, but get the fuck over yourself. I still played that game and enjoyed it myself. Okay? Where is the sequel to Until Dawn? Where is the sequel to Bloodborne? That's an early ass game. Bloodborne was early game. That was like one of the first in the uh, libraries at launch was Bloodborne. Where is the sequel? You know what I'm saying? Where are all these great games that you've given to us this generation? Where are the sequels to these games? This is why I don't, I don't have faith in you. The only game that's been a true blue sequel and an honest entry for any franchise is God of War. That's it. It's the only true blue sequel outside of Knack to a big game that is part of the Sony brand recognition. That's God of War. That's it. Uncharted could have kept going, but they ruined it with uh, Lost Legacy. Uncharted 4 was a good game. Unfortunately, the value of everything dropped because Lost Legacy, being a companion game, was terrible. It was fucking awful. I hated that damn game, and I love Uncharted. I love Uncharted. I love the two characters that they put in the Lost Legacy. I love both those characters in the games they were in. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait to play this game when it comes out. I would love to have more in-depth knowledge of those two women because they're such badasses. And then I played it, and it was so bad. And Uncharted, I love Uncharted. I purposely bought a PS3 just to play Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. And it's thanks to the shit like the Vita, which had Golden Abyss, which... Introduce me to Uncharted. I love that fucking franchise, man. I just want more. I want better. You dig what I'm saying? I, I, I want better. I'm not expecting it, but I want it. You know what I'm saying? I, I want Sony to be that company. I really do. I want them to be like in an argument in my head. I want Sony to be in an argument in my head. Like, I'm no, man, we love Nintendo. Fuck Nintendo, bitch. It's PlayStation. That's what I want in my head. I want to have that love for PlayStation, but they just do so much fuck shit that it just it drives me wild. You dig what I'm saying? I'm like, I want to. I want to sit here and I want to give you money, Sony. I so badly want to purchase a subscription to Plus. I want to be subscribed to now. Fuck the cost. Fuck you. I'm not paying more than I have to. You'll close these servers down before I give you money because I don't have all the money in the world. I look out for what costs the less. I pay so much less than other people for shit, especially video games because I refuse to buy anything unless it's on sale. Um, which, real quick, real, real quick, fuck you Capcom, fuck you. Fuck you, Capcom. Just, just fuck you so damn much. Fuck you. From one Nintendo fan to Capcom, fuck you. $19 for any Resident Evil is not a sell price on Nintendo. You go fuck yourself with the devil's dick. You sorry bunch of fucking ingrates. How dare you? How fucking dare you charge us? who fucking bought your games this entire fucking time, who bought every re-release you've ever put out on a damn market, charge us anything higher than $20 when you release. How fucking dare you? How, how egotistical of you? This is just as bad as Bethesda with their dumbassery. How fucking dare you take out anything on Nintendo fans? How, why is it that I gotta pay 30 fucking dollars for a copy of Resident Evil fucking 4 on the damn Switch. What the fuck is the problem? Why is that? I'm not aiming at just Sony because I hate them. I'm not aiming at Capcom 
because I hate them. I'm aiming at them because I expect them to be better. I expect better from them. That's what it is. And I stand by this. If you're a Nintendo fan, do not, do not give Capcom any more money. Don't. Do not support Capcom on any of their ventures on any platform. It is uncalled for. It is uncalled for. It is unethical. And it is damn near consumer fucking abuse. Alright? $20. 33% off in the eShop for Resident Evil 4 at 20 bucks. Hooray! Even though you can buy the same fucking copy of the game on any console you can think of from GameCube forward for under $20. How dare you charge Devil May Cry fans $20 for one fucking game when I can go on PlayStation and get all three for 20 bucks. When I can go on Xbox and get all three for 20 bucks. How fucking dare you, Capcom? I'm calling for a boycott against Capcom because that shit is fucking ridiculous. If you're a Nintendo fan and you love Capcom, Stand up with me, man, because this is not okay. This is not okay. They split the content of Mega Man X Legacy Collection, which was uncalled for. They split the Mega Man Collection, which was uncalled for. They split the content on all the Resident Evil games. You get one game on the card, and the rest of it's fucking DLC. This is unethical customer abuse, and it needs to stop. I like my Nintendo Switch more than my PS4 and more than my Xbox. I should not be penalized because I want to play Resident Evil on the fucking Nintendo Switch over the PS4 and Xbox One because it's my preferred place to play. If I'm paying $20 on the PS4, I should be paying $20 for that same fucking game, especially if it's fucking digital. Remember, the Nintendo tax is towards the cartridge, not the fucking digital shit. <laughs> Capcom, you've been a habitual customer abuser this generation, and I will not buy anything from you. I refuse to buy anything from you until you turn your shit around. You got a lot of fucking shit to make up with. Not just me, just Nintendo fans. Fuck that. Anyone who's a Nintendo fan, if you are a Nintendo fan... And you have more than Nintendo and you enjoy playing on anything. Do not purchase anything from Capcom. They do not deserve your fucking money. Do not buy anything from Bethesda. They do not deserve your fucking money. It's time we hold these big AAA developers to a whole new standard. Because we've let these motherfuckers slide so much this damn generation. And it's our fault. Well, I've had enough. Fuck you, Bethesda. Double fuck you, Capcom. And Sony, get your ass back in fucking gear. I am sick and tired of it. I want to give you money, Sony. I really do. I have a PS4 that is in the box because it won't come out of uh, reset mode, which I'm going to go take and get it to where it won't be in reset mode anymore. But guess what? It's going to sit in the fucking box until you get your shit together. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said at the beginning of this, I know this has gone on for a while, I ran it about Capcom a little bit, I didn't even dig into Bethesda like I should have, but you know what I'm talking about. Sony, I want to invest in you. I've had your PS4 longer than anybody else's system. I had a PS4 for an entire year before even getting the Xbox One the first time. When I bought the Halo edition of uh, Xbox One, yeah. I had the PS4 a full year before that. And I wanted nothing more than be a Sony fanboy who was happy as hell, investing all the money he could into the PlayStation and singing its fucking praises. That's all I wanted to do. You were the first console I bought this generation, and you're the last console I think about now. Because you're not even plugged into my television. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that there's games that I would love to play. It's got to do everything with every bit of your incompetence. Every bit of it. From the price of the PlayStation Plus, to the servers magically going down more than Xbox, to being hacked still this generation. Um, 
There's just so many reasons. Oh, including the Fortnite fiasco. Including that. There's just so many reasons for me not to fucking plug you into the television. And I hate that. Because I grew up where my brother had the PS1. I had a PS2. We skipped PS3. I bought a PS4. I honestly thought you learned your fucking lesson. Doesn't seem that way no more. Not this bitch though.